All right, we're back with chapter seven. Please ignore all the toys in the background. Chapter seven, Calvin. Calvin had a big round face. Calvin, said Mrs. Jules, I want you to take this note to Mrs. Zarves for me. Ms. Zarves, asked Calvin. Yes, Miss Zarves, said Miss Jules. You know where she is, don't you? Yes, said Calvin. She's on the 19th story. That's right, Calvin, said Mrs. Jules. Take it to her. Calvin didn't move. Well, what are you waiting for? asked Miss Jules. She's on the 19th story, said Calvin. Yes, we have already established that fact, said Mrs. Jules. The 19th story, Calvin repeated. Yes, Calvin, the 19th story, said Mrs. Jules. Now take it to her before I lose my patience. But Mrs. Jules, said Calvin. Now, Calvin, said Mrs. Jules, unless you would rather go home on the kindergarten bus. Yes, ma'am, said Calvin. Slowly, he walked out the door. Ha, 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 laughed Terrence. Take it to the 19th story. Give it to Miss Zarves, hooted Myron. Have fun on the 19th story, called Jason. Calvin stood outside the door to the classroom. He didn't know where to go. As you know, when the builder built Wayside School, he accidentally built it sideways. But he also forgot to build the 19th story. He built the 18th and the 20th, but no 19th. He, was very, he said he was very sorry. There was also no Miss Zarves. Miss Zarves taught the class on the 19th story. Since there was no 19th story, there was no Miss Zarves. And besides that, as if Calvin didn't have enough problems, there was no note. Mrs. Jules had never given Calvin the note. Boy, this is just great, thought Calvin. Just great. I'm supposed to take a note that I don't have to a teacher who doesn't exist and who teaches on a story that was never built. He didn't know what to do. He walked down to the 18th story, then back up to the 20th, then back down to the 18th, and then back up to the 20th. There was no 19th story. There never was a 19th story, and there never will be a 19th story. Calvin walked down to the administration office. He decided to put the note in Miss Zarve's mailbox, but there wasn't one of those either. That didn't bother Calvin too much, however, since he didn't have a note. He looked out the window and saw Lewis, the yard teacher, shooting baskets. Lewis will know what to do, he thought. Calvin went outside. Hey, Lewis, Calvin called. Hi, Calvin, said Lewis. He tossed him the basketball. Calvin dribbled up and took a shot. He missed. Lewis tipped it in. Do you want to play a game? Lewis asked. I don't have time, said Calvin. I have to deliver a note to Miss Sarves up on the 19th story. Then what are you doing all the way down here? Lewis asked. There is no 19th story, said Calvin. Then where is Miss Sarves? asked Lewis. There is no Miss Sarves, said Calvin. What are you going to do with the note? asked Lewis. There is no note, said Calvin. I understand, said Lewis. That's good, said Calvin, because I sure don't. It's very simple, said Lewis. You are not supposed to take no notes to no teachers. You already haven't done it. Calvin still didn't understand. I'll just have to tell Mrs. Jules that I couldn't deliver the note, he said. That's good, said Lewis. The truth is always best. Besides, I don't think I understand what I said either. Calvin walked back up the 30 flights of stairs to Mrs. Jules' class. Thank you very much, Calvin, said Mrs. Jules. Calvin said, but I, Mrs. Jules interrupted him. That was a very important note, and I'm glad I was able to count on you. Yes, but you see, said Calvin, you delivered the note to Miss Zarves on the 19th story, asked Jason. How did you do it? What do you mean, how did he do it, asked Mrs. Jules. He gave Miss Zarves the note. Some people, Jason, are responsible. But you see, Mrs. Jules, said Calvin, the note was very important, said Mrs. Jules. I told Miss Zarves not to meet me for lunch. Don't worry, said Calvin. She won't. Good, said Mrs. Jules. I have a coffee can full of Tootsie Roll Pops on my desk. You may help yourself to one for being such a good messenger. Thanks, said Calvin. But really, it was nothing.